What's going on guys? It's awesome. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own Minecraft server in 1.8. So first of all, go to your internet browser, go to minecraft.net, then click on the download it here button. And then if you're on Windows, even though it says to run the Minecraft server 1.8 exe, the .jar is just overall a lot easier to use. So just go ahead and download that, um, but I already have and then once you're done just create a new folder called minecraft server and then put the uh... the thing you just downloaded the minecraft server 1.8.jar put it in that folder and then right click rename and it's gonna say like dot one dot eight on the end of it just take that off to where all it says is minecraft underscore server with no caps then you're gonna press enter and then next just double click that file nothing is really gonna happen except it's going to come up with this and say failed to load ULA so don't worry just type in stop and then that will close and then this thing right here that says EULA double click it and then this is the new terms of service Minecraft has with their servers so just go to this website make sure you agree to everything and don't break their rules and then after you've done that you can change where it says false to true and then file save X out of that now double click this and the rest of your files are going to generate as you can see it says preparing spawn area it's basically creating the world right now so you just want to wait on this and uh, once it says done then your server is pretty much done and I'll show you how you can connect to it alright so it says done now what you want to do is just go to minecraft this is how you're going to connect to your own server so just go to direct connect and type in local host with no spaces and then click join server and it should log you in and you should be on the world basically yeah so here we are it's gonna load and this is your server so yeah if you're hosting your server on a different computer than what you're gonna be playing on so say you have two computers and they're both really not that great so you can't host a server on one and play at the same time so you host a server on one and then you're going to play on that same server on the other computer uh... it's not going to let you connect by using localhost so what you're going to want to do for that is click right here type in cmd or actually excuse me x out of that actually you want to type in cmd and before you click on it right click it run as administrator and then when it pops up you're going to type in IP config and make sure you do this on the computer that you're going to be using to host your Minecraft server. If you're not using two computers to host your Minecraft server and play on, then just don't worry about this step. Just skip it. Alright, so anyways, press IP config and then this is all going to show up. And then right here, you're going to see IPv4 address 192.168.1.100. That's the IP address for your computer. So if you're hosting your Minecraft server on a different machine at your house um, then you're going to use that number to connect so you would use the 192.168 dot whatever the heck it was but I'm using localhost so I'll leave it as localhost alright so that's how you connect to your server how do your friends connect to the server so go back to your internet browser just go to google and then what you're going to do is once you get to Google my internet's a little slow because I'm uploading a video actually it's really slow okay so once you're at Google just type in what is my IP address so I'm gonna block this so that you guys can't see but there's basically a number right here that obviously you can't see because I'm blocking it but whatever that number is that's a number that you're gonna want your friends to connect to so um we go to Minecraft oh my god what is it doing okay multiplayer your friends would have to type that number into the uh, server address and they should be able to join and that is that that's how your friends join now let's go ahead type stop and I'm gonna get into everything that you need to know about all these different documents so first of all if you're running Minecraft server I'd recommend downloading notepad plus plus which is down here basically it's like a programming notepad that just makes a lot of things easier when you're opening files on uh, Minecraft servers. So the server.properties, if you just use 
a notepad it's gonna look really weird and you can have to type weird but if you open it with notepad everything is nice and lined up and it's pretty straightforward so spawn protect this is basically if other people join your server uh, it's at 16 so they're not gonna be able to break blocks uh, for on um, they're not gonna be able to break blocks that are within 16 blocks of the spawn so you can do that to whatever number you want 100 1000 10,000 100,000 doesn't matter I would recommend just keeping it on like 20 so uh, the spawn is always nice looking and doesn't get wrecked uh, you don't need to worry about any of this really uh, the nether you can change that if you put it to false then even if someone creates a nether portal they won't be able to go into the nether so if you have a really slow computer that you're hosting the server on uh, you can put that to false and it will make the server not lag as much the game mode this is the game mode that everyone's gonna spawn in as so if you put it as zero they're gonna be in survival one they'll be in creative two they'll be in adventure mode and three they will be in the new spectator mode uh, here you have your idle timeout so this is in minutes so if you put two oops two if they're standing still in the server and not doing anything for two minutes then they will be lagged out of the server so that they don't waste uh, player spots on the server for standing still change the difficulty of the server um, you can change monsters to true or false if you put it as false they won't spawn um, announce player achievements this is always pretty annoying to me so I always said it's false because I really don't care if someone else gets an achievement you can turn PvP on or off so I'll just set that to false that'll turn it off um, the level type default will be a normal world uh, super flat will be a flat world and then basically just type the name of whatever generator or whatever type of world you want it to generate uh, you can also enable command block you can set the maximum amount of players um, network compression thresh threshold you don't need to worry about that you can set the maximum world size so um, if your computer once again is really slow that you're hosting the server on or if you're having trouble with it lagging a lot because people are really far away from each other you can set it to like I don't know 10,000 by 10,000 make it like an Xbox world or something um, I don't even know the server port that's gonna come in pretty handy because you're gonna need a port forward your server if you want your friends to join if you need to know how to port forward I will have a link to a tutorial on how to port forward in the description below you can check that out server IP um, this is kind of like different with some people they can just leave this blank and it'll be completely fine with other people um, you're gonna need to go to or like I said to, to Google and type in what's my IP address and then just put that IP address here if you do everything that I say to do and then you still can't connect make sure you put that IP here but if you can connect then just don't worry about it leave it some people have to put it there some people don't it really just depends and I don't really know why so spawn NPCs this is villagers so if you don't want villagers put that to false allow flight you could put that as true if you want people to use mods on your server uh, you can change the name change the view distance make it to where animals can't spawn you can put a whitelist which basically means there'll be a document in here called whitelist right here and you can add people to that whitelist and only they can join if you have the whitelist set to true but even if you have their names in there if you don't have this set to true and it's on false then other people can connect too so generate structures you can turn that off online mode so if you have friends that maybe don't have legit minecraft they have like mine shaft or like a knockoff brand not really a knockoff brand but basically minecraft but it's not legit they didn't actually buy it if you want them to be able to connect to this server you're gonna have to type that as false um, but if you want only people who have legit minecraft then you keep it as true you can change the maximum height people can build to you can make a seed for the world but if you make a seed for the world you're gonna have to make sure after you type the seed and save this um, you're gonna have to go back and then delete this world so you don't only have to delete the folder but you can just go into the folder and then delete everything in it and then it'll regenerate the world with the seed that you want message of the day when people join the server they'll see this message so you can just put like Austin's server 
uh, or something like that and that's basically all you need to know for the server properties so go ahead and file save and then you can X out of that once again his here's a whitelist um, edit with notepad plus plus just put the people that you want to be in the whitelist in between these brackets so I'll put Wilkes 03 and now that's my Minecraft name so I'll be the only person able to join the server if I put the whitelist uh, set to true in the server properties which is right here so if I set that to true I'll be the only one to join alright so here's the ops so god dang it see every time I click on it it won't open it because you have to set it to open with notepad but I have notepad plus plus so it opens with that so this is your ops all the people who you want to be OP'd or opt on your server just put their name in here so I'll put wokeso 3 and now I'm opt and then you just put a space and then whoever else's name uh, after the space alright so next after that you have your band players and then your IP bands so once again open this up everything goes in between the brackets for your band players excuse me I didn't mean to X out of that um, you put their name their minecraft name right here and they'll be banned and then IP band players uh, once again put their IP address between the bracket if you don't know their IP address then just go into Minecraft um, and just type slash IP ban and then the name the Minecraft name of the person whose IP you want to ban the difference between banning their IP and just banning their player um, is that if you ban the player they can rejoin that server with just a different login name but if you ban their IP address, they have to, they can never join your server ever again on their internet connection. So they'd have to like completely get new internet just to join your server, which they probably wouldn't do. So that's basically it for your server. Um, you can go ahead and run it after you've got everything going. And there we go. So done. And there is a way if it's running a little slow because you have a bunch of people on here there's a way that you can run your minecraft server um, with more RAM but I'm gonna save that for a later video because this video is getting a little long so if you wanna know how to run your minecraft server with more RAM that will be linked in the description once it is up so once that's up if you see this video you should check the description because it might be up by now anyways that's how you create a minecraft server and minecraft 1.8 Thank you guys for watching. If you found this helpful, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. If you think I missed anything or if there was anything important that you wanted to add to this. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. See ya. What's going on everybody, it's Austin. Please make sure you check in the description to the link to Freedom if you want to become uh, a partner of freedom it's free to anyone you don't there's no limitations or anything there's no contracts you can leave whenever you want you don't have to have a certain amount of subscribers or views if you have one subscriber and one view you can join freedom so check out the link in the description if you want to join